Hello everyone, ciao by Sara. Today I am in the village of Puntas Doba at the nature reserve of Isonzo River. There is a lot of bora, the wind coming from northeast, but uh, I am brave and I will show you the beauties of this little village. In this map, you can see exactly where is Puntas Doba on the orographic right of the Isonzo River. <laughs> my parents that are my best part partner in crime <laughs> coming with this bloody wind Punta Sdobba is uh, situated near the Isonzato which is the terminal part of the Venetian Litorania with a short walk you will arrive to see the fisherman's village officially born in 1937 when the houses were built in masonry replacing what before were the casoni in which the fishermen took a refuge and remained for the whole week to fish and then return in the days of rest. In the village of Punta Sdoba only several people now reside. There is a small monument for fishermen and a votive chapel to protect the people who were at sea for a long time. If you keep walking, you will reach the small harbour with the low boats that in the local language are called batele and the large mesh fishing nets. can continue to explore the village on foot. If there is mud, use the proper boots. I don't know where my parents are. <laughs> Maybe they are in Lignano by the wind.
and the Gulf of Trieste and Trieste itself and the castle of Duino I found my my parents <laughs> it's cold <laughs> Another place they told me it's very cold today. We are just crazy. But I reckon it's beautiful. The atmosphere is uh, unique. Ah, there is a shot over there, a little hut. But uh, it, it says uh, private property, so I'm not sure I can go. Uh, I'm sure I cannot go. Oh look, you can walk in the middle of the... of this path and reach this hut that is just in front of the Isonzo, Isonzo river this is the bad part because there is a lot of rubbish as you can see and nobody takes care of, takes care about it bottles plastic a lot a lot of rubbish and the Isonzo river mouth is just here it's beautiful by the way It would be wonderful, in my opinion, if this fascinating place could regain some splendor without losing its uniqueness.